Hey Riverwood, I'd like to talk about those challenges that we face and, and how do we motivate ourselves and maybe even motivate others to lean into those challenges and to, and to deal with them. You know, challenges come our way and if you're like me, there are times when they feel so daunting, you just want to curl up in a ball and just like <laughs> hope they go away. Um, but I was inspired by some words uh, from Joab. The commander of David's army, and they were they were sent out to fight the Ammonites and the Arameans that came after them, and uh, these are the words that Joab uses with the army in First uh, Chronicles nineteen thirteen. He says, "Be strong, and let us fight bravely for our people and the cities of our God. The Lord will do what is good in His sight." You notice what he said there? I break that down into three things that I think help motivate, can help motivate me and help motivate you and help motivate others. The first is, he says, be strong. That's the push. You know, we all need a kind of nudge sometimes. And Joab is saying to his army, be strong. That's a push. And then he says, uh, let us fight bravely for our people in the cities of our God. That's the why, that's the purpose. You know, he's gonna push them, be strong, and he's gonna give them a purpose. You're, you're fighting for our people and our God. And then he, find it, he finishes by saying, the Lord will do what is good in his sight. Well, that's a prayer. The Lord is gonna do what is good in his sight. And, and we humbly submit to that. And we pray that that would glorify God in all that we do. So there's that push, there's that, that uh, purpose, and also there's the prayer. Those three things can motivate us to tackle whatever challenge is in front of us. And I pray that that would be an inspiration for you and also some words that you can use as you look to inspire others to overcome and lean into the challenges they face too. Well, I look forward to seeing you Sunday and we are gonna continue on with our message series about body life. And uh, this one will be, um, will be fun. You'll learn some stuff and I'm learning some stuff that may surprise you. So I look forward to seeing you Sunday.